Hi, I'm Kristen from icstarsquilting.com. I love to share all of my quilting tips and tricks with you. Today, I am going to talk to you about ironing. Okay, what to do, how to do it, when to do it, when you don't have to do it. Let's get started. What I'm going to use today is my favorite little iron. You may have seen me blog about this a time or two. I'm kind of obsessed with this little guy. It is a steam fast mini. So it has the water reservoir. It has steam capabilities. It has not steam capabilities. This thing gets hot. It's small and it's lightweight. Now I have another iron, I have the big guy too. This is the one that I go to most often because of the size, because of the lightness, it just works better for me. Most of the time when you're working from a pattern, the instructions are gonna tell you what they want you to do. Do they want you to press your fabric before you start quilting, before you start sewing? It's going to tell you, should you press your seams open? Should you press them to one side? Should you press them to the dark side? Should you press them to the light side? You know. All of this sounds really specific, but a lot of times they are there for a reason. I always suggest following the directions. There are some times when I go completely rogue and I do my seams however I want. You know, that is up to you. But today we're going to talk about the most specific types of ironing, the most common terms that you'll see in your pattern. So what I have right here is a just a simple, two pieces of fabric that I've sewn right here. Right sides are together. I iron my fabric just a little bit. You can see my seam right here. Now, when we talk ironing, what they mean is actually picking up the iron and going over this, okay? You are moving your iron back and forth to get that fabric nice and smooth. When the pattern says press, what they mean is you put your iron on the seam, just like this, and you hold it. It doesn't move. You are actually cementing those threads to fuse them with your fabric and make a much stronger seam, okay? Notice that my seam is not open, it's completely closed, and it is pressed flat, okay? Just like that. And it gets nice and hot right there. So, oftentimes you'll do that on both sides to really get that seam in. This is important if, if you're wanting a really good solid seam. When a pattern says to press your seams open, this is what you're going to do. You're going to take your fabric, pull it just like this, open these little flaps, and use the tip of your iron to go right over and open that seam up. And you just go through nice and slow. I mean, there's not really a major technique to this. If you can see, like I'm using the nose of the iron to kind of push the fabric as I go. Now, I'm moving very lightly with the iron and then I'm pushing down on the iron. So that way I'm not smushing the fabric in any particular direction while I'm going. But more like guiding it open and then pressing. So there is a seam pressed open and you can also go back and do the other side. This is going to get a really, really, really flat seam in your quilt tops, okay? So as you're going, press it and you can hold it on there. Your fabric is pretty strong. Your fabric is pretty strong. It's not just gonna like give out and burn up into flames, okay? But make sure that you use your settings correctly. This one, I always turn it up to max because it's, it's really not that hot. You know, if you have a really, really hot iron, you might want to be careful. Most of the time for quilting, we work with cotton. So now this seam, when I go in the quilt top, it's going to lay really, really flat. Iron calls for a seam pressed to one side. Sometimes it will say press to the dark side, okay? That means if you have two pieces of fabric here, one of them is a light color and one of them is a dark color, you're going to want to press your seams to the dark side, like this. And that's all it is, is you're pressing both pieces of fabric to one side.
and I already kind of set the seam where it was open, but you get the idea. Pretend this is a white piece of fabric, pretend this is a black piece of fabric. This seam, if you can see it right here, it's not going to show on your dark fabric. Most oftentimes I press my seams to the side when the pattern does not specify that I have to press them open. That's my personal preference. I kind of like it that way. It's easier as I'm going along. You can kind of make the decision to press it to the darker fabric or press it to the pattern fabric or somewhere where your seams are kind of going to disappear in your quilt top. Another thing that a lot of quilters like to use while they are pressing and while they're ironing their fabric is a product like this. This one is called Flatter. This is the celebration mm, scent, flavor. It's not really flavor, you don't really eat it. But it's the celebration one. So it's pink, that's why I bought it. Because it's pink, I kinda like pink a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what it's made of. It says that it is made of plant-derived and renewable ingredients. I don't know what that means, but it means that this stuff is amazing. So what you do is you just spritz a little bit of it on your fabric and it does exactly what it says it's gonna do. First of all, you can hear it kind of, you know, you can kind of hear it spritz a little bit when your iron hits it. It leaves your fabric so smooth, so flat, and you can tell the difference here in I had already ironed this fabric just with my iron. So if I've got a quilt that I'm giving to somebody and I want it to be really, really nice and perfect, this is what I use. I'll leave you the Amazon link down below so you can pick up this iron. I will also link to the blog post that I wrote about this iron. I told you I'm kind of in love with it. Um, I've, I've written a lot about this iron because I love it so much. It's a really good price point to pick up an extra tool for your sewing room that makes it easier so you're not having to lug around this big, huge, heavy iron that's full of water and hard on your wrists if you're sewing and ironing a whole lot in a day. So that's really it when it comes to ironing. It's very simple, it's very straightforward. You can be a rule follower, you can do exactly what the pattern says, you'll get exactly the results that the designer is wanting you to get if you press to the sides like they say, press the seams open, Follow the rules, follow what they say, or you know what, just go rogue and do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. That is the very simplest way to explain ironing to you for a brand new quilter. Please go check out my website. It's www.icstarsquilting.com. I share lots and lots of more tricks, tips, tutorials. I have tons of printables on my site as well that are really, really helpful for the sewing room. I look forward to seeing you again so soon. Bye.